Now, let's talk about an interesting consequence of key, uh, enol ketone chemistry, specifically the reaction of an alpha beta unsaturated product of aldol condensation with a diketone with a, that share a common alpha carbon. So let me write those out for you. Let's say we have an alpha beta unsaturated and there is a reason I'm leaving that off there. I do need a hydrogen on this one. Alpha beta unsaturated ketone plus a diketone put this in red for you all under basic conditions This is what we need to perform what's called the Michael reaction. So in the Michael reaction, what initially happens is this hydroxide eliminates a hydrogen from this diketone to give us the carbanion, which is stabilized through resonance through the tautomerization with these two, or resonance with these two. So what happens? Well, we talked about in an earlier video about addition across these double bonds, and we made the comment that if you look at the resonance structure, This is actually the more stable resonance structure because putting the carbon on here, the lone pairs here, allow stabilization through resonance with the ketone group. Well, because we can do this, we actually see attack of this carbon onto this particular carbon on the alpha beta unsaturated ketone. And so initially what we get is this compound here. And since our base abstracted it to give us water, that water can further lose its proton again to give us back the hydroxide and give us this compound. So off the bat here, we actually have a reaction for the Michael addition where we take our diketone and it attacks our alpha beta and saturated ketone to give us this complex here. Now, what's the complication with this? Well, this is just the Michael reaction by itself. The next thing we're going to talk about in the next video is what's called Robinson annulation. And what will happen is that because we have these two protons here, which are acidic, in principle, the hydroxide can remove them again. And the question is, if we do remove it, we end up with a carbon ion that can attack either of these positive carbonyl carbons here. What's the ultimate reaction? So check out the next video.